Now let us turn our attention to the second disease that is L-captonuria. L-captonuria, first thing to remember, it was the first inborn error of metabolism to be diagnosed. So historical thing to remember for exam. Second thing, L-captonuria, it shows autosomal recessive inheritance. The gene for l urea is present on chromosome 3q13.3. So, long arm of chromosome 3. What is the cause of l urea? The cause of l urea is deficiency of the enzyme homogentisate oxidase. The other name for homogentisate oxidase is homogentisic acid 1 2 dioxygenase homogentisic acid 1 2 dioxygenase so because of this there is accumulation of homogentisic acid in various tissues. So, what are the manifestations that will develop? First of all, that this homogentisic acid which is dark in color, it will deposit in the tissues producing a condition called as uchronosis. What will happen in uchronosis? There will be dark patches or dark spots present on the pinna as well as on the sclera of the eye. So, first thing is uchronosis. Second thing which is very important, urine will darken on standing because of oxidation of the pigment on exposure to environment. So, urine darkens on standing is a MCQ already asked in need super speciality in recent past. Thirdly, this homogentisic acid will deposit in the joints and it will cause an arthritis called as uchronotic arthritis. This uchronotic arthritis will involve the vertebrae as well as the large joints of the body. Then there will be occurrence of renal stones in these patients. So, nephrolithiasis can develop and there can be calcifications of heart walls and calcification can also sometimes extend to the intimal layer of the large vessels and sometimes coronary arteries leading to increased risk of myocardial infarction in some of these patients. So, these are the manifestations that occur in urea. Potential MCQ, if you do x-ray of the spine, what manifestation you will find? You will find calcification of intervertebral disc. So, calcification of intervertebral disc will be seen on x-ray spine. Moving towards the management. Management of urea. Management is mainly supportive, but two drugs are available for treatment in l urea. First is vitamin C, that is ascorbic acid. Vitamin C has been shown to decrease the pigment deposition in the various tissues. So, it is added in the diet high doses of vitamin C and secondly there is a drug called as niticinone. Niticinone is an inhibitor of 4-hydroxyphenylpyruvate dioxygenase and so it decreases the formation of this 4-hydroxyphenylpyruvate dioxygenase is a precursor of homogentisic acid and so it decreases the formation of homogentisate acid or homogentisate and so it produces improvement 
in patients on long term therapy. So, this is something which can be asked in MCQ and trans exam. Both of them are potential MCQ points. So, this finishes uh, the topic of alcaptone urea.